All right, so what I've decided to do this particular time is a spread I've done before. You guys have seen it, or if you're new to my channel, then you haven't. But I've chosen four cards, which the first one is the environment. The second is the, your challenge card. Your third is the unexpected. And the fourth is the outcome. And remember, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And always watch your Moon and Rising signs, as you know. Especially if this doesn't resonate with you, but let's see if, let's see how it goes. This is an interesting spread so far as I just view it from um, an intuitive point. Well, your environment is the page of ch cups, and this could very well be a younger person. This could be a water sign, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is someone that could make you feel great about where you are. They can be offering you abundance and joy and happiness and creativity, or you could hear news of, of that, or you feel, you're feeling good. You're bubbling over with new creative ventures or aspects in your life. As, as you can see here, her canvas is blank. So she's ready to she's ready to paint a new picture of what's going on of what of how she can view her life differently more from a bird's eye view the water's flowing so this is your environment card i'm feeling aries like this is the foundation you have the opportunity to make things grow that makes your heart sing okay so let me know what that is, your next card is, this is the challenge card, and this is the three of wands. It is in reverse. So upright, this card means to me that seeing financial gains from a venture that you've put forth, that you've already experienced accomplishment, and you're continuing to move forward and see more progress. Now, this position is the challenge card position, and this card came up in reverse. So it might be that your challenge is turning this company around, turning this whole situation around. Maybe you've purchased a company and it has all kinds of uh, flaws in the on the bottom line. The numbers aren't right. Um, you need to hire new people. You need to put new different people into different positions. It could mean if you're working for someone, then the challenge is, is that people above you are wanting you to do it, you know, get it done, get it done, get it done. And you're working on a deadline and it's not quite as easy as, you know, they think it is. It's like you want to say, hey, you want to do this job? <laughs> You want to get this done? Um, but something about your work, about your passion is challenged. And it's interesting because this opens up a new opportunity for you. I wonder if some of you, this has been a, a detriment to you for a while and you're ready to see this. I'm going backwards, I know, but these two cards work together and you're ready to see new opportunities, new growth where you are. And you're feeling the, you know, the joy and the passion that can come when you feel good about where you are. Well, in the unexpected position, this is the king of chalices or king of cups. And this could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer once again who has mastered the art of his emotions. This person is a, a healer, a doctor, um, a mentor, an advisor, someone who offers you a social invitation, and um, there's business to be had out of that. A festive social situation, and you're like, well, I don't know if I want to go to that, but you know what, if you do, then you meet the right people, and then it helps you get things off the ground, and you know how that goes. It's just like one person. One person can help you get things going. You know, what is that zero degrees 
from separation. It's like you and the person that can instigate things and help you is just around the corner. They're just a meeting away. <laughs> so I, I feel like although this is this yeah has been a challenge, and but someone comes through for you. And I feel like it's a water sign and that they are offering their cup of abundance. You know, what also gets my attention too is the outcome card is the nine of athames, which is the nine of swords. And the sword cards, of course, have to do with our, our ideas and our fears, our worries. And as you can see, she's been up at night crying. She's been up at night, can't sleep. I'm, you know, I don't want you all to have this outcome. So it might be that you're over worrying. As you can see, there's light coming in and shining on her if she would, you know, pay attention. So some of you might be, by the end of the month, thinking too much about what could have been or how, again, how it should be, or some of you are worrying about your health or someone you love. Or maybe you're just not sleeping well. It could be that you're just, you're finding it hard to sleep, especially if you're traveling or you're not in your own bed. Just saying, I'm going to um, pull a couple clarification cards for this one. Well, the, the Fool, the same, this is the Greensman in this particular deck. It's zero in the Major Arcana card, which the, that is the Fool card. Remember, the Fool is the one who starts off the Major Arcana. He's a young boy. He has a knapsack on his back, very small knapsack. He doesn't need much where he's going because he's on an adventure. He could put just a few things in this little bag. And so you can see how these kids are playing, and they're um, not necessarily being responsible. They're a little bit naive. But they're open and they're cheerful. And the green god is smiling upon them. And, and he has their back. And he's um, they're convening with nature and enjoying the time out. So it feels like that you all maybe be open. Again, like I said, this, this king of cups could offer you that encouragement. Okay? Yeah, you're going to be balancing things. You're going to be balancing um, and juggling. And you're trying to make decisions. And that could be what's keeping you up at night. Let's pull one more. But then the King of Pentacles comes up. And this is um, a Ursa, an Earth sign. So this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It's a financial guy. He's a guy that hones in on the, the bottom line. He knows how to make money. He knows how to take care of property. He's a caretaker. Um, some of you might be hiring people to take care of the property you own. And this could be the essence of them. And you feel comfortable around that. Um, he could be a financial advisor, like I said going to help you get uh, papers into place, documents into place. Could be too about taking care of your body and getting that sleep. Okay, let's pull one more resolve card. Which would be the Hermit card. It's the Holy King in this particular deck, but the Hermit card just says, go inward, find your own light, your own internal wisdom and enlightenment. See how these two cards are both the same colors. This one, she's not seeing the light. This one, he is. He's determined to see how he can forge ahead in his own path. All right. Okay, Aries. And I know you all can do that. You all will do that. Oops. I'm going to add the cards up. We have the one. 
3 is 4, 5, and 9 is 14. Right? 9 and 1 is 10. 3, 4 is 14. And 1 and 4 is 5. And 5 in numerology is about feeling uh, adventuresome. Feeling unrestricted. I love 5 life paths. Remember this guy? The playfulness. Um, five life paths in numerology, they're always open to new things. <laughs> and they they just, they make me laugh. They're, they have good stories. They love to travel. Um, it's, it's all of those fun things. So I hope that you guys do that. Do some of that. Stay open to the options of life. The 14 in the Major Arcana card is the Temperance card. And this card is about balance and flow. Patience is indicated. So if there's ideas that have come into place, they need to um, ruminate. They need to, it's like a nice yummy stew that you have on the stove. They need to brew. This person also, you know, sometimes the temperance card can indica indicate some organization and someone who enjoys working with others and generates enthusiasm and support from coworkers. Um, so you all, it, it, you all, um, it, what I'm getting is is to feel more enthusiastic to, and not saying that you all don't. Again, this is, you know. Or Aries, watch your moon, your sun and or moon and rising. Excuse me, um, but there is there is hope in the playfulness. There is hope in the naivety of life. So don't think you know everything because we don't always, do we? Sometimes we have to be open to that flow and see who comes comes into our life. 